In this video I'm going to show you which outputs you can get from the current Hive version. Um, as you have seen before in the previous videos, you start by defining inputs. Um, those go into these Hive components, which are being processed in the simulation core, and the results are being fed into these panels that are um, on the right hand side. Um, here you have the Hive visualizer, um, which is basically a collection of uh, plots and graphs. And what you see here on the on the first tab is um, a monthly energy breakdown of um, final energy demand for space heating, cooling, and electricity. Currently, there's no domestic hot water, um, but that doesn't really relate to your building design anyway, because that's usually per square meter. Um, also, you will find these three make this bigger maybe, these three key performance indicators on the top right, which um, show the final energy demand, embodied carbon emissions of the building construction, and the cost of the building construction. And um, those um, latter two um, indicators you can, or they're calculated based on the properties that you set in this building component um, form in the envelopes tab. Yeah, you find these emissions and these cost parameters, and if you change that to something else, something cheap, then this will have an impact on the cost. Oh, sorry, I changed the embodied emissions. Did I? Yeah. All right. Same for the cost. Okay. Um, furthermore, you can use this top left button to navigate and to, uh, to cycle through different plots. And if you click on on that button, um, you see a Sankey diagram for gains and losses into the zone. And it's explained here in the um, legend what those are. Um, basically, you can, well, the most Im interesting things related to building design are probably the solar gains through your windows, um, internal gains um, by your um, zone usage. Uh, primary energy that's uh, currently only for providing electricity and also ventilation envelope and windows gains in the cooling case. Renewable energy we will look at uh, in a later exercise because that is part of the active um, energy systems exercise. Yeah and then on the right hand side you see all the arrows going out, um, your electricity loads, ventilation losses, envelope losses um, and so on and so forth. The system losses in this case are uh, only the conversion from the primary energy to um, to uh, the useful electricity and in this case we're using the Swiss electricity mix so we have a primary energy factor of 2.02 um, and that is um, accounted for or that that sh is shown here as system losses and the sum of electricity and system losses that would be your primary energy. Uh, furthermore, if you click on, so that that's this plot standing for supply versus demand, and if you click on this button, you will see the total solar gains through each of your windows in your building. And now um, those are shown in this plot, uh, window zero and window zero and window one, in um, yeah monthly kilowatt hours. Uh, if you want to know which window is 0 and which window is 1, then you can use this component here, uh, which um, highlights the selected window, and then you can click on this component, right-click, preview on, and then it would show here in your uh, Rhino viewport, and then you can cycle through all the windows that you have. In this case, we only have two, so index 0 is that one, index 1 is that one. And if you have more windows, then you can you can increase the length of this list to whatever number of windows you have. Um, so those are all the plots that are shown in this visualizer. Furthermore, we have um, added some panels here that give you numeric values if you want to analyze them later in Excel or somewhere else. So heating loads, cooling loads and electricity loads, those correspond to this plot. It's exactly the same data, just as um, numeric entries that you can copy paste. Zone gains and losses, this tab would correspond to this plot. And window solar gains, 
corresponds to this plot and you find here all the windows of your building. In the bottom you will find upper temperature and lower temperature set points and we're using this um, adaptive comfort range. Um, yeah, and this is maybe also interesting how to see how this would change according to the climate. And the blue curve shows the monthly average dry bulb temperature from your climate. Uh, finally, at the top of um, the visualizer, you find some of the toggles that you've seen before in the previous exercise. So this one is for activating your shading mask, uh, which you also can set the resolution. Um, this one is the sun vector, so these things you've seen before, the sun path. And now this is interesting, the simulate solar force or true. This section here, which um, is a toggle to activate the solar simulation, and uh, by default solar irradiation is not simulated with ray tracing, but just uh, with simple um, um, calculations according to the tilt angles um, and orientation angle. Um, however, in a in a real context, as, as um, is usually the case, and also as is the case in this building, you have um, adjacent obstacles and adjacent buildings around you that would um, obstruct sol solar irradiation, irradiation on your building. So in that case, we want to simulate that. And uh, um, you can control the resolution of your... So the only thing that is simulated with the solar simulator is the irradiation on the windows, so on these two surfaces. The irradiation that reaches the um, opaque surfaces is not simulated yet, also to keep uh, simulation times short. And um, depending on the resolution of the windows that you want to have, and this um, will depend on your uh, static shading designs that we will um, talk about in a, a later video. Um, so depending on the on the on your designs, you can change these two parameters to a more coarse or to a more fine resolution. And these two numbers stand for the U and the V direction of the discretization of each surface. So since we don't have um, any static shading, we can make this a really coarse simulation. So U and V two, which means two points in each U and V direction. And then if we go here and click on simulate, we'll see here. Um, how it uh, runs and your results are visualized in this um, viewport. Um, the color scale is from blue to yellow, blue being um, zero irradiation and yellow being um, the maximum irradiation and you can set these bounds with these sliders and then you can adjust um, to your likings. You can also bake these geometries if you wanted to see the, um, the, the mesh or you want to use it somewhere. Yeah, and now you can see the U and V directions with the two discretizations 